Well, welcome back to Remote Sensing Applications using ArcGIS. In this session, I'll teach you about display of color images. Typically, uh, digital cameras take color images. So if you go to the image display data that you downloaded, you'll find a digital photograph called tundraphoto.jpg. So we'll start with that. If you add that to your ArcMap document, this is going to be a true color image and unknown spatial reference, so we'll just say OK. And a true color image has three values inside each pixel. And those values are used to control the three primary colors for a computer display. And the three primary colors are red, green, and blue. So in this example, the first pixel value which is also referred to as band one, is used to control the amount of red that we see on the screen. The second pixel value, which is also called band two, is used to control the amount of green on our screen. And then the third pixel value, which is also called band three, is used to control the amount of blue on our screen. So we could use the identify tool to look at individual pixel values. So for example, this uh, red plant here has a high pixel value for the band that's using to control the red that we see on the screen, zero for green and only a value of two for blue. And typically these color images will be eight bit images. So the values for red, green, and blue will range from zero to 255. So for example, if we look at this bright sky, what's the pixel values for this bright sky? There are 255 in the red, 255 in the green, and 255 in the blue, which would give us a white color. And then what's a pixel value for a very dark area that's being displayed? So if we zoom in this shadow area, what's the red, green, blue, that's being displayed in this shadow area. So it's zero, zero, zero. So that's typically how color images work, is basically the pixel values are used to control how much red, green, and blue is being displayed on our screen in terms of uh, video intensity of red, green, and blue. So if we look at our raster properties, it says number of bands is three, so that basically means inside each pixel there are three values and then the pixel depth is 8-bit. So what that means is each pixel value can range from 0 to 255. So if each pixel value can range from 0 to 255 and there's three values inside each pixel, basically we can have over 16 million different colors displayed if we just change the values going from 0 to 255 for various uh, intensities of red, green, and blue. Okay, I think this will become clearer if we work with a test raster so we know exactly what values are inside each pixel. So if you go to the folder that you downloaded for this week, there's uh, test raster 1, test raster 2, and test raster 3. And if you look at those text files, they have values of 0, 255, 100, 150, and 200 in each test raster. So here's test raster 1, and here's test raster 2, and here's test raster 3. So what we're going to do is make um, these three rasters from these text files, and then we'll composite those three rasters into one three-band image. So we'll just make a new data frame, and we'll minimize the old data frame. So the first step is, from those text files, we'll make three test rasters. So if you use the Search tab, we'll search for the tool ASCII to raster and we'll run this tool ASCII to raster. Okay, so since we're gonna use this tool three times on three different text files, I'll run this tool in batch mode. So if you right mouse click on any tool in a toolbox and then select batch, 
and then we simply fill in these cells. So if I double click on this cell, and then I'll browse to the location of my first text file. So test raster one dot text. And I specify the output will be called raster one dot tiff and it'll be an integer raster. So now that would create my first raster. So what I'll do is I'll select this row and then I'll hit the plus button to add the, a duplicate row and then the plus button a second time to add a duplicate row. And then what I'll do is I'll say, okay, for the second time, it'll be raster two dot tiff. And then the third time it'll be raster three dot tiff. And then I will change my inputs. So the second time my input will be raster two dot text. And then third time it'll be raster three dot text. So now I'm ready to execute this tool and it will execute three times. So I, then I just press OK. And it created three rasters from those three text files. OK, so now each of these three rasters will have one value inside every pixel. So basically the number of bands is the number of values inside each pixel and each raster is three columns by three rows. So what we want to do is create a multi-band image for color display. So to do that we'll composite these three rasters into one multi-band raster. So the tool that allows us to composite rasters into multi-band rasters is this cool tool called Composite Bands. So we'll run that tool. So from my table of contents, I can select the rasters I'm interested in, in compositing and then just drag those into my tool. So now we'll take raster one, raster two, and raster three dot tiff, and our output raster, we'll call it raster three bands dot tiff. So this raster will have three values inside each pixel after this tool composites the single band rasters into a multi band raster, and then just okay. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we'll change the stretch type um, the values inside these pixels range from 0 to 255. So let's just make it simple and we'll change the stretch type to minimum maximum. So basically, if we change the stretch type to minimum maximum, 0 will be the minimum value and 255 is the maximum value. So then essentially we'll have no stretch. And then we can use the identify tool to look at what's inside each pixel. So for example, the first pixel is a color cyan. And in order to get cyan, what we have is zero for our red video display brightness, maximum green brightness, and maximum blue brightness. And that will give us this cyan color. The next pixel is zero in the red video, zero in the green, and maximum in the blue. And the same thing with the next pixel. It's zero in the red, zero in the green, and maximum in the blue. So basically, that's how we can display any color we want by different combinations of red, green, and blue. And then the last row, the values are the same, so that gives us some grayscale. So for example, this um, pixel is 100, 100, 100, gives us sort of a dark gray, as opposed to this pixel, 200, 200, 200 gives us a light gray. So if we had a pixel that was 255, 255, 255, that would be a bright white pixel. And if we had a pixel that was 0, 0, 0, that would give us a black pixel. And we could change our color display by changing which pixel value controls the red video, the green video, and the blue video. So for example, if we click on this red and choose two and click on this green and choose one, now the second pixel value is controlling the red intensity and the first pixel value is controlling 
the green intensity. So basically we get different colors because we have a different band combination assigned to the red versus the green. And likewise, we could say, well, let's take the third color, which is blue, and we'll assign that to band one, for example, and that will give us different colors. So for example, this is red because it's zero or zero in the green, zero in the blue, and 255 in the red. Well, that green and blue value of zero is coming from the first pixel value, which is band one. 